Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of Off the Board. Um, so today's video is called Snail Mail, and it's because I'm using these snails as my inspiration. And yes, I am going to create my own quilled snail. So basically quilling is the art of rolling paper. And so um, I am rolling up some pieces of scrapbook paper that I cut at one eighth of an inch thick or wide. So these are really small. Um, I started out with quarter inch pieces and I didn't really like how thick it was. It was too bulky and it looked very, I, I guess the word is rudimentary. It looked <laughs> like a kid did it. So um, the smaller paper looked a lot better. And so I just punched a circle. It's like a two inch round circle. And I'm laying down the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And then each of those rolled papers, I am sticking into the glue, kind of holding it there till it sets just a tiny bit. And then I can put the next piece on. And I am having the top pieces kind of hang over the circle because I didn't like the way it looked with the, the circle, the punched circle sticking out from behind. So I kind of want these um, rolled pieces to look like they're kind of not backed. They are backed, obviously, but I didn't, I didn't want that base piece sticking out. It just looked better without it. And I'm not going to fill the entire circle. I'm going to kind of do it more like, kind of like a turtle shell versus a snail shell, but it, it still gives you the same effect. Hopefully it looks good at the end. I did not make you sit through rolling all of those papers. They do have a tool for doing quilling. It has like, it looks kind of like a pokey tool or a piercer, but then it has a split at the end so you can put the paper in there and grab it and then turn it. But I just used my paper piercer and um, it worked out great. Of course, if I was going to be doing a ton of quilling for some masterpiece art, like my, you know, like my art is really a masterpiece anyway. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, but uh, yeah, it's if I were going to be working on quilling quite often and more frequently, um, then I might invest in a tool, but I don't, and I don't even think it's that huge of an investment, but, um, you know, this is just a one-off project. So I didn't feel like it was something that I really needed to have. I did, uh, I did think about going and getting an upholstery needle, which I do have, like my mom has a bunch of upholstery needles because the eye of the needle would probably be plenty big enough to put the paper in. Um, and now that I've cut the paper even smaller, I might not even need a large needle, but um, I, I was too lazy to do that because I would have had to gone next door to her house and, and grabbed one of those. So there is my st snail, or at least the start of my snail. I don't have his eyes done quite yet, and I don't have, um, you know, anything else done on him. In fact, I'm not even sure it's all glued together at this point, but I'm using this paper that has paper airplanes on it, and... The photos are of Noah in a um, letter carrier costume. So he's a postal postal worker. And the he got this costume from my son's girlfriend's family. And her dad is a postal worker. And so I thought it was really cute that they gave him this. And he's got the bag around his shoulder in one of the pictures. And he's got a bunch of letters in his hand. Um, unfortunately the way the photo was taken on my daughter's phone, it kind of cut the bottom of the photo off, but he had a little mini mail truck sitting on the ground with him. And it was just super cute. So these little paper airplanes, I am backing them with the same plaid paper that I have torn at the bottom of the page, just to bring some of that yellow and blue up above. And I like how that looks. Those torn paper airplanes were from a Creative Cuts Club kit. And I'm not sure where the cut file was from. I would have to go and look that up. If that's something you're interested in, let me know and I can see if I can find it for you. Um, I am looking at adding the eyes to him, his little head, but I don't really have anything to make the eyes out of. So I just freehand cut a couple of ovals and then I am going to use my pen to draw the eyes on those ovals. Um, in the meantime, I'm lining up all my photos the way that I like them. I like them kind of, they're straight across, but they're not all on the same axis. So they're, they're straight. They're not 
tilted, but they are not lined up across the bottom or across the center of the photos. And I kind of like that bouncy effect. It kind of makes gives your layout a little bit of uh, movement to it and a little bit of flow. And it creates some interesting places for embellishments because they've got those little dips between the photos. Now I don't use that area as much as I probably could have for this particular layout, but that's okay. Now I am adding a little bit of ink to the white parts of the snail because he was just a little bit too white. He matched the clouds in the background too much. And so I'm just using the leftover ink that was on my gray inker um, blending brush, which had been dipped in black earlier to make one of those paper airplanes black. It was like a black and white print airplane and I just inked it up enough that it looks black now and I wanted them all to be the same because I've already got a lot of different things going on in this layout I didn't want to use um, airplanes in different colors and you can see I have a stack of them off to the right there but I, I didn't really need to use them now the paper airplane pla placement was based on these little like jet stream looking swirls on the paper <laughs> at least those upper two are and um, I know it seems really close to his head it is going to move a little bit but um, I do like the way that it looks in the end so now I'm going to go ahead and add the eyes with my Muji pen just giving him some eyeballs and then I am going to ink the top of each of those ovals to kind of look like his eyelid so that it gives some definition And definitely using my tweezers helps for this because I can see better where the center of the oval is. If my finger is up there holding it, it's really hard to kind of know where the placement should be. So for me, that's what works well. And also it keeps my hand clean <laughs> so I don't actually draw on my finger. So I am doing the lid work right now. The lid work. <laughs> His eyelid. <laughs> And then I'm going to hand draw in his smile and he's going to be pretty simple. And I like the way that he looks. It's, it's super cute. So um, don't forget to go check out everyone who else who is playing along with Off the Board this uh, today. <laughs> we are playing along all month. At least I am. And there are several people playing along all month long with Crystal over at Pineapple Papers. Um, we are using Pinterest pins to inspire our layouts and this layout was definitely inspired by that snail pin as you can see now I was really torn with whether or what to call this layout I was gonna originally call it snail mail and then I was like but wait I've added all of these paper airplanes maybe it needs to be like air mail or something like that but um, I am NOT scrapbooking at home I am with a group of friends and the consensus was it was okay to still call it snail mail. So it's called snail mail. <laughs> so they added uh, little airplanes were just super cute. And there are paper airplanes on that background paper. You will see that a little bit better in the close-ups. And again, I'm still playing with the setup for um, filming when I am not at home. So if the page looks a little further away, that is probably why. Now I'm using some dyes to create my title I have backed my patterned paper so I'm using that same uh, plaid paper for my title and it is adhered to white foam and um, that I'm sorry it's not white foam it's pink foam <laughs> um, and there is pink in that uh, plaid so it works out okay <laughs> um, and then I just use the word snail mail and I really like the way that it's looking and I'm not really sure which die set this is that I am using um, I have several now in my collection as my collection has grown um, but I really like the S and it has like a little curly Q at the bottom of it which kind of reminds me of a snail shell so I thought well, that's the that would be the perfect one to use also it is the right size for this particular layout in my opinion so that's what I decided to go with If you do need to know the name of that font, just drop me a note down below in the comments and I will look it up for you. I'm more than happy to do that. 
I just don't have it handy in front of me right now. And um, that goes for any comments or questions that you may have. Just drop them in the comments down below. I do get back to you. I read every single one of them. I don't respond right away um, to uh, most of them just because I do that and uh, like I, I sit down and do a whole bunch at one time and it's not every single day. So um, just be patient and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, I did have this little piece of scrap paper that had a couple of snails on it. So I just fussy cut those out and I'm adding them to the layout to just add a couple more little tiny snails. Uh, the, the snail that I created, his eyeballs are popped up onto some foam tape as are the paper airplanes so that it adds a little bit of dimension to this layout. And there's not going to be a ton more of embellishments that I need to add because there's already quite a bit going on. When you use a cut file or a larger embellishment like the snail, you don't really need to add tons of layers of, you know, I don't know, lab labels or florals or, I don't know, hearts. Take your pick. <laughs> you don't need to add a ton more. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's really nice to have a more simple layout. And I think that's kind of what I am embracing for most of the month of June, just uh, June. This is not June for the month of July. And that is because I am doing a layout every single day for this series. And so, um, you know, they couldn't be layouts that take me hours and hours of stitching or hours and hours of mixed media or anything like that. So I had to kind of um, work with the time that I had. And I am super happy with how these came out because they are fun. They're um, relatively easy to do. And, um, you know, pretty much anybody could do this layout. If you, you may not have the paper airplanes, but you could make that snail. It's not, he wasn't very difficult to make. Um, I just hand drew what his body should look like based on the pin that I had. And, um, and I just went with it. So I'm adding a little bit of journaling right below my title, just where he got the uh, gift of that costume. And that is pretty much going to do it. I thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And um, I, I do really feel honored that you took the time to watch my channel today. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.